Twins Talk with Senior Smoke in this week's edition brought to you by Gordy's VP Auto Repair and Towing seven days a week on Huff Street in Winona. Juan talks about Danny Santana and the leadoff spot, whether the surging Royals have a shot at the title, the struggles of the pitching rich Tigers, and we'll even touch on the strange requests of fans. And while El Gasolino offers his thoughts on the Twins, keep an ear out for the Bearing Gear Word of the Week. Submit that word to Senior Smoke at HBCI.com to be entered into a drawing for a set of four tickets behind home plate for the Twins and Indians on September 20th at beautiful Target Field, courtesy of Fox Sports North. And with that, we welcome the man himself. Juan, how are you today, my friend? Yeah, it's good. And, uh, good weekend. Uh, it's uh, kind of rainy yesterday. It's kind of nice to see my grass go back to green. I know very <laughs> no more. So after that, is between is kind of things again, too. That's kind of exciting things. Yeah, yeah. You know, this has been something, it's been a hot topic around here on Sports Buzz, one of the shows we have here on HBC and whatnot. But with Danny Santana, he has the speed to spare. He's hitting 316 for the Twins, but he only has 12 walks through 64 games. Do you think Santana is better suited as a leadoff man or a bottom of the order guy to jumpstart the offense when it turns back over? You know, he's, 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 he's remind me like uh, 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 these guys from the Oakland. I can remember that, and this guy is faster. Uh, I think he can he can be both ways mm -hmm. because of the, he take a lot of work, uh, a lot of pitch, and uh, when he looking for one pitch, he can hit it uh, really hard, and uh, anything he can get it in base uh, because he's a little faster than uh, any bombo that this guy third base or short or second do it, and uh, he have a lot of uh, hundred percent they can go get it in the base, and I think that between him here because. Joe Mauer started coming back and uh, hit the ball well and uh, hit on runs. Uh, I think he can finish really good. And uh, the pitcher started to get him better and, and uh, everybody put number together. Mm -hmm. And that is the Baron Gear Word of the Week Speed. Email speed to senior smoke at hbci.com to be entered into a drawing for a set of four tickets for the Twins and Indians game on September 20th at Target Field, courtesy of Fox Sports North. The Twins finish up a four-game series with the Royals tonight, a team which has won 20 of its last 25 and sits a game and a half in front of the Tigers in the AL Central. Kansas City has not reached the postseason party since 1985. Do you think this team can hold on to either win the division or take one of the wildcard spots? And if so, do they have enough to make some noise while they're there? Well, you know, I've, I've been watching a lot of these guys, and uh, I'm a friend, uh, Ned Jones. I played in the minor league and a little bit in the big league with him, and uh, I spent time in, in Atlanta for three years in there. Uh, he's uh, the bullpen coach, and uh, he's a good, good, good guy, and uh, he get along, and he give uh, a lot of opportunity to everybody. That he know kind of run uh, the show, and and then I talked to him a couple of times, and he said he have like, a lot of good players and younger. That, they kind of excited right now. They never be in the better race, and uh, and uh, everybody's on the pitch. They be really good so far, and uh, and I hope to, like he said, it uh, don't fail in the last minute because then you see that you in the last minute start to fail like a Detroit. He goes down two pitches, uh, and then you know it's it's, it's a hurt when you want to the stretch and then the something is making move it and. Uh, and then Detroit is one of the things that uh, everybody expects to go to win the division, but I guess he, is, he has to fight for that division, and, and he has to fight for the wild card right now because everybody is having a position to get it to there right now. Mm -hmm. Do you think the Royals will make the playoffs? I think the Orioles is going to be win the division and go on the wild card, uh, and I really I want to see it. This young kid to get into excited to go in there and see what he can do in the first playoff and then they pass that one. They go be a nice test too. He can go to the second one. Mm -hmm. And then I have to ask so Salvador Perez, Kansas City's catcher. I mean, you look at him just defensively, the offensive presence he has. I mean, really honestly, is he the best catcher in the American League? You know, he have a lot of good catching and uh, he's surprised and uh, like a net Jody said, he worked really hard and uh, he have a great arm. And then he's he's been hitting, and uh, and I think right now he's one of the best catcher right now. That I think he might have left from there and go to the first. And uh, I think the Detroit you have one that is in there. Uh, it's a great catcher, but so far the Kansas City have one of the best catchers uh, that you can see right now. And uh, he's excited, and and he takes all these younger pitches and put the successful. Everybody throws seven innings and then six innings. And that's what you need mm -hmm. to go to there. Yeah, that rocket he hit on Sunday at Target Field was just amazing. Just absolutely turned on it and just hit a bomb. 
Uh, all right, we alluded to one of your former teams, the Detroit Tigers. This is a team heavily favored to walk to a division title, compete to win the World Series. They already enjoyed vast wealth with regard to pitching with Max Scherzer, Anibal Sanchez, and Rick Porcello. Then they traded for former Cy Young Award winner David Price. Of course, Justin Verlander has struggled most of the season, and the bullpen simply hasn't been effective. Three Cy Young guys or not, are the Tigers in trouble, or can they right the ship? You know, if they need a one guy key in there, then I think they have to look at I've been talking to a lot of my friends in there, that they said they chop around for one closer because that's the problem the last three years you try to get into there but the closer you know can close the game mm -hmm. and then that need on you know been doing the job right now and I the problem he have they flip that in the middle finger to the fans and that is not right. very good for him too right uh, and then that is uh, the second closer he used to be in picture for the younger you know been doing he doing a great job early but on the leg with been hitting hard I think that that's the key. That is the everybody getting healthy. The starting pitcher they have to find out, find out one and it can be the closer and shut him out that door because every time it's like they get in there, there is no in there. Mm -hmm. That's the key right now. Yeah, I mean they traded for Joaquin Soria, but then he got injured. Now if he comes back healthy, he was having a very good year for the Rangers. Do you think that would be the answer for them, or do you think they need help beyond that? I think they need a help and then that because uh, they don't know because I talked to a couple of the guys and there is an inside and a friend of mine and then he said they, they don't know what to do. They think of getting another guy or, or what. And then they talking about the closest from San Diego. They used to be the closest from Detroit before. And then right. you know, he, he remember he pitched, he preferred to pitch a puppy than throw mm -hmm. the passport right in the middle. He, he taken deeper and take it again, no way from him. I don't know what the Detroit is trying to figure out, or or you can use it one of the starting pitchers and be the closer for them the last couple of months they need. And I don't know what is the pitching they want to do. Yeah, if they were able to get Joaquin Benoit back, that'd be huge with Soria and Nathan. But like you said, those guys haven't really pitched that well to begin with. Yeah. So let's move to some lighter topics. As a former player, what's your favorite baseball movie? Baseball. Uh, Movie. I have a lot of the good movies, and uh, I watch one of the movies, The Little League. Yeah. The Little League, and and, and, uh, and they have it a lot of phones, and uh, I'm watching. I've been watching a couple of times, and and uh, it, it, it's, I I like a lot of the movies, but I like more movies than baseball movies. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. You know, something we talk about around here quite a bit. We got Major League, Bull Durham, The Natural, whatever it might be. Of all the baseball movies you've seen, which one had the most believable baseball on screen? I like it. one of the movies, and uh, they, I forgot his name, and uh, he tried to, he's a, a secret, he's a real, and uh, he, he coached the team, and uh, he started going back, and uh, he did the tryout from Texas, and uh, he made it to the big league. Mm -hmm. uh, I like that movie, and I like the movie, and uh, the only guy is, uh, is a catcher, and and then they have a couple fighting with the general money and all it, but it, it's a lot of good movies and there that you can see it, you know the wow man is uh, is another exciting movie yeah. and, uh, and i remind me myself in there <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think the one you were talking about with the rookie with dennis quaid the rookie, yeah, the rookie, yeah. yeah. <laughs> with the, the song from the whooping with the earth core and all right <laughs> Finally, when I spoke with former Braves catcher Javi Lopez a couple years back, he told me that a woman, I, I believe she was from Philadelphia, had sent him a letter with her credit card to pay for Lopez to make a quote-unquote donation so she could have his child. Now, that you know that's just creepy, but it makes me wonder, what's the strangest request you've ever received from a fan? Oh, I get a lot of, a lot of stuff from the fans, and uh, they send me a couple of... Uh, uh, tickets to request they pay back uh, to pay in back to go see the games and uh, and uh, sometimes I, I, I my wife used to love it because I I send it because he have only money to pay one series the second deck way up and under <laughs> and I send it back the twenty bucks <laughs> and I 
sign in my 20 bucks too. <laughs> and I get a nice leather bag and then, and then he said that I buy a six pack to be able to help <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, that is all the time I have for you this week here, Juan. So I thank you for joining us, and uh, we'll talk to you next Monday. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. All right. Have a good week. Bye. All right, that's all the time we have for this week. Thanks for listening to Twins Talk with Senior Smoke, brought to you by Gordy's BP, auto repair and towing seven days a week on Huff Street in Winona. And don't forget to email the Bearing Gear Word of the Week, Speed, to SeniorSmoke at HBCI.com for your shot at the set of four tickets behind the dish for the Twins and Indians on September 20th at Target Field. For Juan Bearing Gear, I'm Landon Evans, and we'll catch up to you next Monday.